Hello friends, today we will be talking about Vrindavan. So let's start. Vrindavan is a town in the Mathura district of Uttar Pradesh, India. It is a significant pilgrimage site for followers of Hinduism, particularly for those who worship Lord Krishna. Vrindavan is associated with the childhood and early life of Lord Krishna and it is considered one of the holiest places in the country. Key features and attractions of Vrindavan include Manke Bihari Temple. Dedicated to Lord Krishna, this temple is one of the most revered in Vrindavan. The deity is known as Thakurji and is housed in the temple. The temple is particularly famous for its unique tradition of the deity appearing to the devotees for only short duration each day. Radharaman Temple Another important Krishna temple, the Radharaman Temple, is known for its intricately carved idol of Lord Krishna that was believed to have been personally manifested by Gopala Bhatt Goswami. Iskon Temple International Society for Krishna Consciousness This temple is a part of global Iskon movement and is dedicated to Lord Krishna and Radha. It is a major attraction for tourists and devotees alike. Prem Mandir, also known as Temple of Love, Prem Mandir is a relatively new temple known for its beautiful architecture and intricate carvings. The temple is dedicated to Radha Krishna and showcases the theme of divine love. Govind Dev Temple, this temple is an important pilgrimage site for Vaishnavites and is dedicated to Lord Krishna. It is believed to be one of the seven temples of Thakur of Vrindavan. Yamuna River The town is situated on the banks of Yamuna River, providing a serene and picturesque settings. Pilgrimage often take ritual baths in the river as part of their spiritual practices. Vrindavan attracts devotees, scholars and tourists from around the world who come to experience its spiritual and cultural significance. The town is known for its vibrant atmosphere with numerous temples, ashrams and ghats lining the sacred Yamuna River. History of Vrindavan The history of Vrindavan is deeply intertwined with the legends and mythology associated with Lord Krishna, a central figure of Hinduism. According to Hindu mythology, Vrindavan is considered to be the place where Lord Krishna spent his childhood and performed various divine pastimes, leelas, association with Lord Krishna. Vrindavan is believed to be sacred land where Lord Krishna spent his early years. It is said that Krishna performed numerous miraculous and divine activities here, including his famous childhood exploits such as stealing butter, makanchor, playing the flute and engaging in playful interactions with gopis, covered girls. Connection with Radha The town is also closely associated with Radha, who is believed to be Krishna's divine consort and embodiment of pure love and devotion. The love story of Radha and Krishna is a central theme in the folk folk and traditions of Vrindavan. Establishment of temples. Over the centuries, various temples were constructed in Vrindavan to commemorate the life of and teachings of Lord Krishna. Many of these temples were built by devotees and saints who were inspired by stories of Krishna Leelas. These temples have become important pilgrimage sites for Hindus, saints and bhakti movement. Vrindavan became a focal point of bhakti movement, a devotional movement in Hinduism that emphasized the path of love and devotion to God, saints and devotees, such as Chaitanya, Mahaprabhu and Vallabhachare, played significant roles in spreading the teachings of devotion to Krishna and Vrindavan. Mughal period During the Mughal period, Vrindavan faced challenges due to invasions and destruction of temples. However, many of the temples were later rebuilt and town Kanit continued to thrive as center of Krishna worship, ISKCON and revival. In the 20th century, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, ISKCON, established a presence 
in Vindavan, contributing to town's global recognition. ISKCON built temples and engaged in various activities to promote Krishna consciousness. Today, Vindavan is a bustling pilgrimage town with numerous temples, ashrams and ghats along the Yamuna River. Pilgrims and tourists visit to experience the spiritual and cultural heritage associated with Lord Krishna and Radha. The town's history is a blend of mythology, devotion and the enduring cultural legacy of Krishna tradition. Process of Darshan in Vindavan The process of Darshan seeing or beholding a deity in Vindavan Like in many other Hindu pilgrimage site involves visiting temples and having a visual encounter with the sacred idols or deities Here is a general outline of the process of Darshan in Vindavan Temple visit Devotees or visitors enter the temple premises Shoes are usually removed before entering the main sanctum or inner area of temple, queue or waiting area. Many popular temples in Vindavan have designated areas or queues where devotees wait for their turn to enter in inner sanctum. Darshan Timing Temples in Vindavan typically have specific timing for darshan, which may vary throughout the day. Devotees need to be aware of these timings to plan their visit accordingly. Offering and Prayers Devotees may bring offerings like flowers, fruits, sweets and other items considered auspicious for the deity. Before entering the inner sanctum, there might be designated area for devotees to offer their prayers and perform rituals. Entering the inner sanctum Devotees enter the inner sanctum where the main deity or idol is housed. Photography and videography may be restricted in some temples. Darshan rituals. Devotees have a few moments to stand before the deity and offer their prayers silently or through chants. Some temples may have priests performing arti, ceremonial worship with lighted lamps during the specific darshan timing. Receiving blessings. Devotees may receive prasad, sanctified food or teeth, holy water from the temple peace after darshan. In some cases, devotees may seek the blessings of priests also. Exit and circumambulation. After darshan, devotees exit the temple premises. Some temples have circumambulation path parikrama around the main shrine of or the entire temple complex where devotees may walk in a clockwise direction as an additional act of devotion. It is important to note that specific rituals and procedures can vary from one temple to another in Vrindavan. Some temples may have different rules or customs and it's advisable for visitors to respect full of the local customs and guidelines established by each temple. Additionally, during festivals or special occasions, the Russian process may include unique ceremonies and events. How to reach Vindavan? Vindavan is a well-connected town in the Mathura district of Uttar Pradesh, India. Here are some various ways to reach Vindavan by air. Nearest airport. The closest airport to Vindavan is Indira Gandhi International Airport, DE, Delhi, in New Delhi, which is approximately 150 kilometers away. From the airport, you can hire a taxi or use other modes of transportation to reach Vindavan by train, nearest railway station. The Mathura Junction railway station is the nearest major railway station situated around 15 kilometers away from Vindavan. From Mathura Junction, you can hire a taxi, auto rickshaw or take a local bus to reach Vindavan by road, by bus. Vindavan is well connected to ro by roads. Several state-run and private buses operate between Vindavan and major cities in Uttar Pradesh and nearby states by car. You can also reach Vrindavan by car. The town is accessible via the National Highway 44, NH44 and other state highways. The journey from Delhi takes approximately 3 to 4 hours depending on traffic conditions. By taxi or by a car rental. You can hire a taxi or use car rental services to reach Vrindavan from nearby cities or airports. This often provides flexibility and convenience especially if you are 
you prefer a direct or private mode of transportation, local transportation. Once you are in Vindavan, you can explore the town on foot or use cycle rickshaws, auto rickshaws and local buses for short distances. Many attractions are within walking distance of each other. Before planning your trip, it is advisable to check the current travel conditions, especially if you are using public transportation. Additionally, consider the time of year and any major festivals or events that might impact travel arrangements. Overall, Vindavan is easily accessible by air, train and road, making it a popular pilgrimage destination for devotees and tourists alike. What are staying options for devotees or tourists? Vindavan offers a range of accommodation options catering to needs of both devotees and tourists. Here are some types of staying options in Vindavan. Ashrams or Dharamshalas. Many ashrams and Dharamshalas in Vindavan provide affordable accommodation for devotees. These are often run by religious organizations and offer simple and spiritual focused environment. Guest houses. Several guest houses in Vindavan cater to need of both devotees and tourists. These guest houses vary in terms of facility and prices, offering a comfortable stay for visitors. Hotels. Vindavan have hotels ranging from budget to luxury, providing a wide range of amenities. These hotels cater to needs of tourists and travelers who may prefer more conventional accommodation options. Resorts. Some resorts in and around Vindavan offer a more luxurious stay, often with additional amenities such as swimming pools, gardens and recreation facilities. These options are suitable for those looking for a more relaxed and upscale experience. Pilgrim Accommodation Center Some organizations and trusts run Pilgrim Accommodation Center for, that provide basic and affordable lodging for devotees. These centers are often close to major temples and offer a continuous stay for those on pilgrimage. Online Booking Platform Various online booking platforms allow visitors to book accommodations in Vindavan in advance. This includes a wide range of options from budget stay to more upscale hotels and resorts. When choosing accommodation in Vindavan, it's essential to consider factors such as proximity to major temples, personal preference budgets and purpose of visit. During peak pilgrimage seasons or festivals, it is advisable to make reservation in advance as Vindavan can attract a significant number of devotees and tourists. Additionally, some of the well-known temples in Vindavan may have their own guest houses or accommodation, affiliated with the temple premises, providing a unique opportunity for devotees to stay in close proximity to sacred site. What are food options? Vindavan offers a variety of food options catering to different preferences, including traditional Indian vegetarian cuisine. Here are some types of food options available in Vindavan. Prasad in temples. Many temples in Vrindavan distribute prasad, what is sanctified food offered to deities. Devotees often partake of prasad as part of their religious practice. Local street foods. Vrindavan has a vibrant street food scene offering a variety of vegetarian snacks and sweets. Some popular street foods include kachori, samosa, chaat, and sweets like jalebi and peda. Vegetarian restaurants. The town has several vegetarian restaurants that serve a range of Indian vegetarian dishes. These establishments offer a mix of North Indian, South Indian and other regional cuisines. Ashram dining halls. Some ashrams and dharmshalas in Vindavan have their own dining facilities that serve simple vegetarian meals. These dining halls may be open to both residents and visitors. Hotel restaurants. Hotel in Vindavan often have a house restaurants serving a variety of vegetarian dishes. These restaurants may offer a more comfortable and formal dining experience. Pure vegetarian and sattvic food. Given the spiritual significance of Vindavan, many dining establishments are focused on providing pure vegetable and sattvic, pure clean food. Satvik food is believed to be conducive to meditative and spiritual lifestyle. Local sweets and deserts. Vrindavan is known for its traditional sweets and deserts. Visitors can enjoy a variety of Indian sweets, including those made from milk and dairy products. International cuisine. 
Some restaurants in Vrindavan may offer international cuisine to cater to diverse preference of tourists. However, majority of options are centered around vegetarian Indian cuisine. It is important to note that non-vegetarian food is generally not available in Vrindavan due to spiritual and religious significance. Visitors should respect local custom and dietary preferences. Additionally, during major festivals or events, some local eateries may offer special dishes and sweets. Overall, Vrindavan provides a rich culinary experience for those interested in exploring traditional Indian vegetable cuisine. Thank you.